Hi, I'm Chris, and this is the Flower Education Series. So, uh, again, I forgot which episode this is. However, this is also a follow-up, um, similar to the one I just did on lilies. This is a follow-up on roses. So, what I want to touch on, this is a beauty. So, uh, as it's outside here already, uh, this was a gift from Flora, because she was my Nikki. Um, look at that color. Like, look at this baby. Right? Now, what I wanted to point out is, look at this petal. Now, you see how it gives a kind of an ombre kind of effect. Let me, actually, let me change the lighting up so you can probably see it better. Ah, yeah. So, you see how it gives a kind of an ombre effect on the side? And yeah, just coming up. These are dark petals. This is one here. This is another one here. This is one here as well. Now look at this one. It's It looks like it's damaged. It's not. That's just how the petals are. Right? Now, look at the effect that this rose gives you. Here and now. Um, I'll film one just to show you. So what I also wanted to follow up on with is assorted roses. This is what we mean when we say assorted. It's every possible color we could get from the farms. It actually comes in the pack mixed like this, right? So it's whatever colors the farms put together. Most times they generally put colors that work really, really well together. Um, and I will use this rose to demonstrate for a particular reason. And this one, because it's two of the same, just different lengths. All right. So if you remember from one of the last videos that I did, roses are sold not by the size of the bud, not by the length, of the bud but by the length of the stem. These are two roses, same color, both from the same pack. These are 50 centimeter roses. So how do you farmers pack them? If you buy a pack of roses and you take them home and you put all 25 roses, because roses come 25 in a pack, and you put all your roses into a vase, you get a nice arrangement. You know, it'll be different heights and open out really nicely and that kind of thing. The reason why I wanted to use these roses to demonstrate is, look at this rose. Isn't this gorgeous? Now look at sides. Now first thing is that somebody who doesn't know will say that the roses are old, that the roses are damaged, and that they are browning at the edges. I'm here to tell you just no, stop. Um, so some roses, like this pink for instance, are an antique pink. I touched on this last, last time. It's supposed to have this aged effect. So these colorations here, if you look at it closely, is actually green. The tips of it are actually green. It's just that it's so translucent, it looks brown, but it's not. Now, reason why I took two of them out, I want to show you the difference. This is what everybody would like, right? Everybody would say this is a fresher rose and that kind of thing, even though they both came from the same pack. No, okay, this one is not good. So this is where I would remove a glass petal because it is actually damaged. Now, you tell me, which one would you prefer? A or B? A or B? A or B? Which one looks more like a rose to you? 
And that's um, something that I want to get at. A lot of customers, a lot of florists get a lot of complaints saying that florists have sent them old flowers really and truly. We have left the guard petals on to add character to the rose. Take for instance this color. This is an Ascot rose. It's absolutely gorgeous. It's this plum wine color mix. If I remove any of these guard petals, this rose loses the effect instantly and if i give this to a customer with all the guard petals i'm going to get a call getting one set of buff um another one would be uh, purple roses seeing that variegated beauty so this one is something called deep purple now again all of these come from the same pack from the same farm deep purple roses now, again, you see in the two-tone, the darker, but well, almost pinkish on the outside and the lilac here on the inside. Now, if we do what everyone else wants us to do, this is what you end up with. Sorry, I just damaged that one. Which would you prefer? Right? So I'm not saying that we're leaving all the guard petals on all the time, you know. Discretion is used. So this one I just pulled out has a little bit of bad spots. So I'm going to remove those petals. However, we use our discretion to give you a more dramatic looking rose, a more impactful rose, a more wow kind of rose. A lot of you watch Bridgerton, you think in Bridgerton they were actually cleaning roses like this. This is a modern day, modern day thing to do roses like this. This is how roses are actually done. Um, like I said, the only time we remove guard petals is when they look something like this. When they actually fold it back on themselves, etc. And that's it. Right? So, this this video isn't really to uh, make anyone feel bad, it really is to educate, right? Um, this is actually my rose now. Um, yeah, but it's really just to educate, right? So guard petals are actually your friend. Even though you may not like how they look, it gives the illusion of an open rose without the rose being, you know, plucked. So this rose is actually going not going to look as full as this rose when this when both of them open out. Right? And I think maybe I will keep both of these outside and let them open up. But you can actually see already because they're in the warmth of this room. I specifically took the AC off just for this video. Right? So you're seeing the difference. And this is the one with the guard petals. Right? So yeah. So that's really what I wanted to touch on, the guard petals, um, variegated roses, so like the purple one, this is what can be my variegated, it's two colors and one rose. Um, no, not this one. Do I have any more? Okay, no, I don't have any more variegated roses. But that's what I mean by variegated roses, right? Um, assorted roses would be whatever we have that we just mixed together. So all of these colors would, together in one piece would be considered an assorted piece and I also want to touch on antique roses okay so thank you for watching and let me know what you think